Welcome back to Reformation and Revival Now. We are talking about my favorite passage in the 36th chapter of the book Ezekiel. And we're going to quote it right now. I almost don't have to look at the passage, but I'm going to make myself do it. It says in 26, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. Now, I always quote it in the King James, nothing wrong with the new King James, but I'm just so used to it. But here God is promising the new birth, entire sanctification and the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Three things are going to happen. You're going to have a new heart and a new spirit. That new spirit is your born again life. That new heart is that part which that spirit rests upon. But God is going to take away the stony heart that used to rest there. All those stones of opposition. I call them stones of opposition. Well, he's going to remove all those stones, those stony hearts, that those stony things in your heart that fight against God. He's going to remove them. And then he's going to put his Holy Spirit within you. And because of that, then you will keep his commandments and judgments to do them. This is a mighty revival. We saw it to a degree and its earnest form on the day of Pentecost. That was like the down payment to show you what God's after. But we, of course, fell away from all of that. We've been falling away on and off ever since then. And now we need God to revive us once more and bring this back. Well, that's what Ezekiel 36, 22 is talking about. I'm going to do this for my holy namesake. You have profaned my name, but I am going to exalt my name through what I do in your life. So make sure you go back and read verse 22, because now we need God to do this. Now we need him to do this. And he's going to ask us, we're going to look into it on the next video. He's going to ask us to remind him to do it. I almost can't wait to get there. I want you to know this is the greatest awakening that we have ever experienced in the earth. And God put it in in such a way where we couldn't mess it up. It won't be denied because he's going to do it for his holy namesake. He's going to do it to lift up Jesus to the nations. And not even the Antichrist is going to be able to stop it. I'm telling you right now, I am not intimidated by the Antichrist because as long as you don't have a love for this world, as long as the world is not your home, what is he going to do to you? If heaven is in your home, what can he take away from you? So the thing is, is this, we need to get excited about what God is doing. Yeah, okay, the devil is doing some things, but God's doing greater things. And Jesus says, when you see these negative things happening, that's ha happening right now. Look up because your redemption draws near. So we're supposed to get excited because we know the bridegroom is coming. Well, anyway, I'm getting off track. God bless you. Join me in the next video. And we're going to see what God wants us to do. Bye-bye.